Hi guys. So for today's reading, we are going to be looking into who is hating on you and why. We have three piles today. One, two, three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile that you feel most drawn to. And if you guys enjoy this reading, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp, a donation, hit that little super thanks button. All that you guys do to support this channel, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate you guys. You don't even know how much of an impact you make in my life. So thank you for that. And thank you to anybody who has been donating or making purchases through this holiday season. It has really helped me out a lot, especially with getting sick and being able to take a break without having to worry so much about it and just allowing everything to be let go of, which really helped in a lot of ways. Anyway, let's get into pile one. For pile one, who is hating on you and why so i get to do a reading tonight for the first time at night in a very long time especially during winter because i have no power but i have an extra speaker light that my ex and my kids got me for christmas and i have this beautiful little frog that my friend got me and I have added to it, if you guys saw my other video where I was putting that together, that rose I was working on is down in here. And this is the rest of it. And it has a light up rose on it too now. And all this stuff is stuff that I've added to it. And it covers up the solar panel that used to be on there. It's pretty awesome. So anyway, <laughs> done with my new lights. For some of you, whoever is hating on you might actually be somebody who's hating on something new that you have or a new light or a new glow within you, a level up that you're going through. Currently, I feel like maybe you were down and out in some sort of way. Maybe you were feeling very off or feeling very low or um, hurting a lot or something along those lines. And now you're climbing your way out of it. And maybe this is somebody that's still mired in darkness and doesn't feel like they will ever be able to climb out of it in the foreseeable future, if ever. They may feel like they're going to be stuck in that forever and they don't want to lose you. But can't pull their head out of their ass. Anyway, Aquarius... Pisces, this could be a good friend of yours. This could even be somebody who wanted to be more than friends, but you didn't want to be more than friends. And you guys could have been pretty good friends for a while as well. And then this person may have even gotten into a relationship with someone new and just cut off your connection or ghosted out on you in some sort of way because they didn't want to be around you if they couldn't have you and they may be hating on a new connection you started if you started a connection that could be possibly what triggered them into this as well for some of you this could be a child this could be a parent or there could be some sort of in-laws involved as well somebody may actually be hating on you because of your relationship with a certain parent parent and they may not feel like they can have the same relationship or somebody may actually be hating on you for a relationship you may have had with their grandparent or your parent before they passed away or just in general with somebody that you mutually knew before they passed away maybe you got a longer time with them or maybe you connected with them more deeply Maybe this person even has a hard time remembering a lot of things about the person who passed away, if that's the case. Let's see what else we got. Ooh. So we got Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, K, L, P, Kelp. Mm -hmm. SpongeBob just came to mind. F, D, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, FDR was coming to mind there. T. 
T-U, Pisces, intuitive. Somebody could be hating on your intuition. And it may even be your ability to communicate with spirits as well for some of you. Or the spiritual protection that you have on your side. A, koala. Y. Z. W. Q. A, questions and answers. Somebody may be hating on you for having an answer to everything. An answer to every question. P. Pause. Pass. Pay. S. R. People may pay you for something in specific. Some of you could even do spiritual work. M. And it's not as easy as people think to, you know, have money to take care of things while doing spiritual work. So, if you are making money at it at this point, somebody could be upset or jealous of you for it. Maybe they feel like they deserve that or they should have that and they haven't got to that level yet. Or they are uh, or they just can't do it for some of them as well. Q. Baram you. B, W, N, Swarm, Army, Crazy. I'm going to show you is the song that's coming to mind right now. You do things the way you want to do things, and you're not going to let anybody else tell you how to live your life or tell you that there's something wrong with you because of how you were born or how you were made or how you decide to think or do or whatever in your life. So somebody could definitely be hating on that, and that could be the glow up that you've been going through too, because maybe you didn't used to do that password. Play. Sway. Sway with me. The song Sway with me. There could be a new connection or relationship in your life as well that somebody may be hating on. How close you are with somebody or how playful you are when you're around them. Draw. You might like to do a lot of art. You might like to do a lot of things that are considered child's things or kid's things. And this person may be somebody who never lets themselves do anything like that because of the fact that other people have told them they need to grow up or whatever the case may be. Stressed Out, the song Stressed Out is coming to mind. They told us, wake up, we need to make money. So somebody may actually be working really hard to get money. Because they feel like they would not be supported in doing anything that they wanted to do. Farm. And you might actually be being paid right now for what you want to do. Instead of just selling yourself for whatever money <clears throat> your patience and persistence is paying off in some sort of way also you're somebody who lights up the world around you everywhere you go and every life you touch is impacted by the knowledge that you have by the happiness and joy that you bring by the high vibrational energy you're patient you're strong you're reliable you're steadfast you are very good at keeping things balanced and in moderation in your life you may take very good care of yourself. And in taking very good care of yourself, you don't mind having a little break where you can just enjoy yourself and go out and have a couple drinks one night or um, do whatever other recreational activities you feel like doing that week and then go back to taking care of business. And once again, somebody could really be jealous of some sort of really balanced and stable and strong connection in your life in a partnership way as well. Buy now. Yeah, somebody could be feeling like they need to buy things to keep up with people. Somebody may even feel like they need to buy things to keep up with you. 
And some of you, they could actually even be hating on you because the way that you are doing things is not buying things, but investing time, energy, effort, love, kindness, care, things like that. So let's see what else we got. Page of Swords, Queen of Pistols, or Page of Knives, Queen of Pistols. Fire Ant, and the Wolf. Somebody's watching from the outside. Somebody may be very heavily watching from the outside. Dirty Peaks, <coughs> Thunder Cheap. Sorry about the pause for a minute. My dog started barking at outside. Anyway, somebody could be heavily watching you right now, and the song that popped in my mind was... Dirty deeds, done dirt cheap. Dirty deeds and the done dirt cheap. Dirty deeds and the done dirt cheap. Um, somebody could actually be living a life of crime right now, and they may be very upset that you don't have to do that to survive. If somebody is in survival mode around you, they may actually be stealing things or somebody could have actually even hired somebody to do some sort of dirty work or... um. Somebody could have jumped somebody to get something or stolen things. You know, something along those lines. Somebody may actually be living very heavily in their survival mode. And you may actually have went through very similar circumstances as this person. But you refused to do that. Even if you've done it in the past, you refused to do it this time. And you chose to go on faith. You're somebody who's a very strong leader and you're leading by example. You're leading through your walk. You're not just telling people what to do and expecting them to fall in line. But you are actually going to walk your walk and show people how it's done. And other people are looking up to you, inspired by this, watching this, learning, growing, and um, really being able to create a lot of good things in their lives by following your path too. And somebody could be really hating on that as well. Somebody may be feeling like there's a lot of chaos around them, drama around them, a lot of people picking at them, trying to trigger them, a lot of people causing a lot of problems for them in their life. And they may feel like you, even if you have had those problems, you haven't let them take over. But I feel like at this point too, you're leveling up to the point where you have already dealt with a lot of those problems and now it's time for things to start paying off for you. And a lot of the hardships that you were facing in the past may be over and done with for you, where this person may still be right in the middle of it and they may even be stuck in it forever, you know, like we were discussing at the beginning of this. So... This person could be somebody who's a bit dirty as well, a bit grungy. This may be somebody who has to do hard labor for their work in some sort of way. This person may even be hating on you because they might feel like you are somebody who gets everything handed to you or people do a lot of nice things for you or you don't really have to work for what you have or whatever the case may be. And who are they to say that you're not anyway because they don't know what's going on in your life or how much effort and energy you put into things. And that's why you're getting what you're getting out of things as well. Kind of like a stay-at-home wife and mother when it comes to that position. They are doing everything. They're a chauffeur. They're a maid. They're a cook. They're a nanny. They're an alarm clock. They're a bus driver. They're a fucking everything you can imagine under the sun. And they're running around doing all of that. And then people want to say they don't deserve to have money to buy themselves something nice. Or they don't deserve to be taken care of and treated right. They don't deserve to maybe even have a bank account with a little bit of their own money in it. So they know they're going to be okay at the end of the day. Because... They are sacrificing that financial freedom to be able to take care of everybody that they love around them. At the end of the day, they're putting in a lot and they deserve back a lot too. So you may be actually doing something that is not very glorified or doesn't get a whole lot of recognition. 
but you may be very well taken care of in your position as well for some of you. So that is what I have for this pile. I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I would love to hear what you guys had to say about it, whether or not it resonates, what you guys might be going through, who these people in your life could be, all those kinds of things. And thank you to anybody who supports my channel in any way you do. Thank you to those who have been donating, especially recently with me getting sick and making purchases because that has really helped me out. So thank you so much, you guys. Um, I really appreciate it. If you wanted to be able to donate, you can find my Cash App, PayPal, Amazon wish list, and my P.O. box in the description box below. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you all for all of that support. It really does a lot for me, and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are, when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. And at, I just saw Aslan in the letters, too. <laughs> anyway, pile two. For you guys, who is hating on you and why? Giraffe. I don't know who that's for, but there could be something to do with the giraffe. Monkeys, a zoo, petting zoo, your house is a zoo. Uh, somebody may be hating on how many animals you have for some of you. Or the different types of animals you have. For some of you, somebody may even be going around telling people that you don't know how to take care of the animals you have. Or you have too many of them. Or... Um, Somebody may really be talking down on you for the way that you choose to live or your lifestyle in some sort of way. For some of you, um, there might actually be one or two of you who may not have a home, per se, but you may have an animal. And your animal probably eats better than you half the time, but somebody may be hating on the fact that you have this animal, even though you can't even take care of yourself or whatever the case may be. Aquarius, friendly. Sagittarius, optimistic. Aquarius again. For some of you, this could be a father, New York. For some of you, this could be a friend or an ex-friend. This could be somebody that you might have considered a best friend at one point in time. As well, this could have been somebody who was constantly trying to one-up you or constantly trying to compete with you. Um, this may even be somebody who tried to turn their life around full 360 when they came across you and met you. Um, this could definitely be somebody who kind of wants your life in a way, but isn't even the type of person who could live your life. Um, somebody may be hating on your optimism, your hope, how much you stand out. How unique, different, variable you are. Adaptable, flexible. How open-minded you are. How non-judgmental you are. How much of a higher consciousness you have. You may think of a lot of deeper things than a lot of people around you do. And you may have a lot of intelligence as well. So. Let's see what else we have. Baby. Virgo. So there could definitely be an ex hating on you. Um, or somebody that you didn't even give a chance to. Bye, bye, bye. I don't know. That song just came up. Uh, somebody that you didn't give a chance to or somebody that you gave a chance to and they fucked it all up. And uh, could even be, this could be somebody that you exposed for some of their nasty, twisted, evil ways or manipulations or lies or whatever the case may be. You may have exposed this person in some sort of way. Exposure. You may be getting exposure as well in some sort of way. People may be watching you more now. Something they did might have actually caused people to be watching you more because it may have backfired in your favor and against them. A, B, Y, Abby. Bay, G, gay, switched at birth. There's a show called Switched at Birth that just came to mind. G, D, Gandhi, Candy, O, Banjo, B, I, N, G, O, B, 
I N G O B I N G O and Bingo was his name Mo. You could be somebody who's very fun loving, um, very happy go lucky. You might actually know a lot of children's nursery rhymes or music as well. I don't know why somebody would be hating on you for that, but maybe they have a new baby and they don't really know how to interact with them. And they know that you'd be really good at interacting with them. Ding dong, the witch is dead. <laughs> w, F, N, F, therapy session. H, you're very real, very raw. H, D, high definition. You could also be looking really good right now. There may be a lot of people as well who really pay attention to what you have to say because of the level of intelligence and the good way that you articulate when you're communicating. You may really be able to express things in a way that people can understand them. And this person may have a hard time doing that. Jay, Django, who did that to you? That's the song that's coming to mind right now. Um, somebody could actually be hating on you because somebody might have stepped up to defend you in some sort of way. Or they know somebody would. Somebody may have actually stepped up to defend you in some sort of way, especially if you went through a sexual assault of some kind or a physical assault of some kind from somebody. Somebody might have actually beat the living shit out of somebody over you. Or somebody could have just addressed something over you or wants to. Banjo. And maybe this person wanted them to do that for them, but they didn't. They wanted them to make that offer for them, but they didn't. V, J, V, Junior Varsity. B, H, Military Police. D, Baghdad. G, U, some of you could have had a parent who served in the military as well. K, Duck. J, or you might have. S. Their life is sucky. <laughs> Webbed feet. You might be really good at swimming, too. Gherkin. You may be somebody who really enjoys a lot of outdoor activities as well. This person may be hating on you because you enjoy the outdoor activities. This person might actually be hating on you as well because you might be able to communicate with a loved one who has passed away in some sort of way and maybe they want nothing more than to be able to communicate with the loved ones that they have lost and don't even realize that they could talk to them at any time and they will send them messages back to Hedgehog. Hedgehog love. Prickly. You know what? You might be somebody very prickly and uh, defensive in a lot of ways. And maybe you found somebody who's willing to work hard to be able to open you back up after a broken heart. And maybe this person hasn't really had anybody who cares enough to want to dive in in that way and want to stick around in that way. King of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, your patience, your persistence, your dedication, your effort, your faith is bringing in a lot of abundance for you right now. You may actually be picking a lot of fruit off your tree right now, literally. And it's beautiful and big and bright and juicy. And people can see from the fruit off of your tree who you are. And that might even be what's exposing somebody else's lies as well. You could be somebody very level-headed. Very balanced emotionally. You may be very good with children. You might be somebody who loves crafting. You may be um, very emotionally intelligent. You're also somebody who expresses your love with no fear. You don't let fear hold you back anyway. Even if you are afraid, you express yourself anyway. Because you don't want to lose a chance at ever knowing. Tomorrow Never Comes by Norma Merrick or McCarrick. King of Skulls, The Outsider, Fish, and The Swan. So somebody might actually be in a very similar position as you, but they may not see it that way. They may see you as having more in some way, or connected more, or involved more, or included more. 
This person could be somebody who's very much an outsider. They may feel like they're on the outside looking in. The island of misfits is coming to mind. And you could actually be a person who kind of has felt like that throughout most of your life too. Although your level of emotional intelligence allows you to be able to, and your communication skills allows you to be able to talk to people and make in-depth connections and things like that. But you also may not be somebody who has a whole lot of real solid close friends either. But it doesn't stop this person from thinking that you do because they may only see from the outside. They're not actually seeing what it's like on the inside, how long you questioned yourself, how hard you worked, how much you had to mature, how much you had to overcome, how much you had to go through to have this level of emotional intelligence as well. You're somebody very adaptable, very flexible, able to go with the flow, able to go against the grain when you need to. This person may be hating on you too because when they look at you, it's like a mirror into themselves. And they don't like what they see or they don't want to have to look at it or they don't want to really have to pay attention to the fact that they don't have really any connections around them that are closer they may talk to a lot of people or interact with a lot of people, but they may not have a whole lot of connections that are closer, or they may not have a whole lot of fruit that's falling off their tree that is looking good for some of you. This person may have chosen to go down a more dirty path to create a life of comfort and stability and financial success for themselves to get to the top. They may have stepped on people in some sort of way as well. And that could be part of the reason that they're alone right now. Now they're alone. They have their money, but they're alone. And you may have chosen to go down a path that didn't hurt anyone, but took a lot longer a lot more faith, perseverance, dedication, time, effort, energy. But at the end of the day, that may have been the path that was better. And so that could be part of the reason why this person is hating on you as well. So that's pretty much what I got for you guys. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I would love to hear from you if you did, whether or not it resonated, who this person could be, what you might have going on, what fruits are starting to come forth from the seeds you've planted, things like that. And thank you to anybody who has been supporting my channel in any way, especially the last couple weeks when I've gotten sick and the donations that have come in and the purchases that were made during that time really helped me out in being able to take the time off and rest and not have to worry as much about whether or not I was going to have what I needed while I was doing it. So thank you guys for that so much. And thank you for all of those who went and watched extra videos and stuff too during that time to keep my algorithms up. You guys are awesome. Thank you, and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile three. Sun. Somebody's son could actually be hating on them in this one. Somebody's son may actually be, um, they could have followed your footsteps in some sort of way because of the way that you used to live your life. And then you could have just all of a sudden one day up and decided to change everything up and switch how you're doing things and believe in new beliefs. And this person may feel very left behind. Even if it's not your son, this person could feel very left behind or out of the loop. Or they may not even agree with the new lifestyle you have chosen to go down. Um, for some of you, you might have even came out of the closet and admitted that you're gay. And somebody could be hating on you for that as well. Maybe even hating on you for the lies that they lived in their whole life. Or hating on you for bringing out the truth. You've kept it a secret this whole time and you were happy living that way. Why couldn't you just be happy forever that way? Instead of having to put the spotlight on me and my life and my family and everything that's going on in my family. And now I got to deal with everybody looking at me weird. And 
there could be, yeah, there could be a lot of uh, worry about the opinions of others, the thoughts of others, um, how others feel, how we should behave. Um, you might have even been the type of parent at one point who emphasized how you should behave in public in some sort of way. And uh, you may not even believe in that anymore. And you definitely don't act like that anymore. You are you, regardless of what anybody else wants you to be or how anybody else feels you should behave. And these could be toxic traits and cycles that were passed down through your family that you more recently broke. And so this person may be working on breaking them at this time too, or they may be going through a lot of what you did before you broke them and hanging on to this is the right way and I'm not going to do it any new different way. And it may actually smack them in the face later. They may really regret some of the things they're doing right now. This could definitely have something to do with family as well. We have Cancer. We have Leo. We have Aquarius. Somebody could be hating on the connections in your life or the people you choose to have as a partner. Or um, somebody could be hating on you because of your parents. Or they may be hating on your parents because of you. Somebody might be hating on you because they think you're hating on them. Somebody may be hating on you because of their pride and ego as well. And we have Libra. Um, somebody could be hating on you because of a divorce that happened for some of you. Somebody might actually blame you. Somebody may be hating on you because of a connection that you might have had with a child or with a parent that they didn't get to have that type of connection with. Somebody might actually be even hating on you for doing things differently than they did in their relationship in the past. So for some of you, there could be a parent hating on you because you have been able to break the cycles that they lived because you may have watched them go through those cycles too and decided you didn't want to do it that way. Somebody may be feeling very defensive or overly sensitive as well, especially to the words being spoken to them. Somebody may feel like you're overly sensitive when they were just being themselves and you should just take whatever abuse they have to throw your way and be happy with it. And somebody could be hating on you because karma seems to be on your side right now. Um, you may actually even be healing some of your family connections. Or you may be um, gaining custody of your children for some of you. Or you might be um, led and guided very strongly. You may even be in a very strong position of authority and power. And this could actually be a thing where the tables have turned and this person used to be in the Oh, 3322 was on the clock when I looked up too. This person used to be in the position of power and authority and they're not anymore. You may have learned a lot. You may have overcome some um, lessons or obstacles. You may be working really hard towards something. And there's going to be balance, harmony, peace, and happiness and joy coming into the connections in your life. Or there already has started to be that. And that is a lot of what is going on with these people that are hating on you. For some of you, it could be a mother. It could be a father. It could be an ex. It could be um, somebody you're getting divorced from or already have. It could be your child. Not seeing siblings so much, but it did pop up, so I'm going to say it. Sex. Sexy. S. E. Seen. Seen it. Your movie trivia or the information that you have in certain areas somebody may be hating on. Seneca. <laughs> um, somebody could be smoking. You might smoke. Somebody could be hating on you for smoking. Or somebody could be hating on you because you quit smoking and they can't for some of you. S-E-N-O-Z. Nose. The nose on my face. Um, Mystic. Good song. Cigarettes and bullet holes. 
One more to the chest and I'm alone. My mama doesn't call. My sister doesn't write. Betcha they would laugh if I called to say goodbye. They won't even know I'm missing till they pull me from the mystic. Q. G. So it could definitely be family for some of you as well. Q. GQ magazine. Um, somebody could be very fashionable. This could be a male who is very fashionable who, or who chooses their clothes very carefully, who likes everything just so or in place. This could be somebody who kind of is very robotic in the way they do things sometimes. Um, this could be somebody who has what some people call jerk nails, where their nails are clipped perfectly on a regular basis, um, very clean underneath. Uh, this could be somebody that, even though they're a male, they might actually be more like a female in the way of hygiene and how they keep themselves up. Um, this could be somebody that really makes sure that their appearance is good, but doesn't work on the deeper things as much. They may be hating on you because they may be um, feeling like you don't take care of yourself in the right ways, or um, they may be feeling like they don't want to go out in public with you because... You always have something all over your clothes or your hair is always messed up. Or, you know, you could be an artist and you could have paint all over your pants or your face or whatever the case may be. Um, you may also be somebody who's a little louder in public. Who doesn't mind laughing. Um, who doesn't mind people looking at you or paying attention to you. Who doesn't mind people seeing things that are not so perfect about you. Um, it could even be that you have decided to put some sort of artistic work out there without it having to be perfect. And this person may have a really hard time doing that or even not trying to make everything perfect. Benzos. Somebody could be um, popping pills as well. W. W. Somebody could be a model, too, and somebody could be hating on that if you are doing that. W.S. Sweeney Todd. Mm. Demons may try to charm you with a smile for a while, but nothing's going to harm you. No, sir, not while I'm around. Somebody could be hating on you because you have people who are protective over you or people who would fight for you or um, even spirits on the other side who would or ancestors who stand in your corner or something along those lines. Or maybe even there may even be a child around you as well who can see things at times and who makes sure to give you the heads up or lets you know. People see you as a good guy. Someone could be hating on that. Z. C. Especially if they feel like you're not as perfect as everybody thinks you are. C. N. F. So you could actually be the one who keeps things perfect too. For some of you. F. P. Facebook. Z. Face. Recognition. Recognize. Seeing. Faces in the Crowd is a movie. Uh, it's on YouTube, actually. Where she can't recognize people's faces anymore. Um, she's being, like, stalked and harassed by this person. But she had some sort of accident where her brain, like, makes the faces look different every time she sees them. So, she's not actually recognizing the same face she's seeing a hundred times. Um, somebody could actually be hating on you because you didn't recognize them. And maybe they know all about you because you could be somebody who actually has a lot of attention. Second, some of, somebody could have a lot of clients too if you have clients. Why? Jim like the gym. L, you may be working out. Little Italy is also a movie on YouTube as well. It's about two families that hate each other. They've been having a feud forever. The kids fall in love and then they gotta, you know, heal the feud. 
and get over it. <laughs> LTX, because they almost destroyed everything for their kids. LAX. Some of you, it could definitely be your kids. Your kids could feel like you are destroying everything for them with your own selfish wants, needs, or desires, and they may not be realizing that you might have been somebody who put your own wishes, desires, wants, needs, and everything else on the back burner for everybody else for years. You may have sacrificed everything for all of these people, and you just wanted to do something for you. But they may be feeling like it was selfish of you to choose to do this or selfish of you to choose to walk away or to get a divorce or to choose to live your own life by your own rules and to not want to be a part of a family that couldn't love you for who you are anymore. You didn't want to morph yourself into something for them anymore. And these people may even not be able to get away from the people that you were dealing with in the past. They might actually be stuck around them on a regular basis. At some point, they're going to see why you walked away and they're going to do it themselves as well. And if they don't, uh, it's going to start eating them and they're, they're really going to realize why you did. Clown. Clown. Somebody could think you're a clown. You might actually be extremely funny, too. Some of you could actually be a comedian or very comedian-like. And that could be something that somebody is hating on you for, too. Con, Connecticut, connect to the dots. You could be claircognizant as well. And somebody could be hating on that. Why? Why? Eye for an eye. Eye for an eye. Tooth for fucking tooth. Um, the movie Fear just came to mind, too. You could have you could have people stalking you or people watching you or people following you or people that are um all up in your business Q. Um you could have dealt with obsessed people or things like that. Um this could even be the person who was obsessed with you that is hating on you and it could be that they still are. Um you could have even, some of you dealt with sexual assault of some kind or something along those lines. Somebody could actually be hating on you because you have pretty privilege or what they think is pretty privilege. And they may not even realize, oh, she's so lucky. She's a star, but she cries, cries, cries in a lonely heart thinking if there's nothing missing in my life, then why do these tears come at night? So you could be somebody who looks very put together. You may be somebody in the public eye. You may have a lot of spotlight on you. You may have a lot of eyes on you, a lot of attention on you. A lot of people that want to have sex with you. A lot of people that want to do things. Oh, um... Uh, my hump and then you have people trying to grab on you you have people trying to um disrespect you people trying to put you in your place and knock you down a peg you have people calling you a slut you have people spreading rumors lies gossip bullshit about you petty petty ass fucking bitches fealty Loyalty, your loyalty or others' loyalty to you. You might have actually even cut off a lot of people in your life um, because you really weren't sure of who you could trust or where you could turn or who was on your side and who wasn't. And you might have actually cut off a certain particular group of people. And some of these people could even be your family. Some of these people could be your parents. And this may be an ex that's hating on you because your parents are still loyal to you, regardless of whether or not you walked away from them. Or it could be something along those lines. Or maybe even your partner's still loyal to you, even though you walked away from them. And there could actually be like a parent or something that was trying to get with them or that was trying to pull them onto their side and get them to see you as the problem for everything instead of um 
you could definitely have a parent who has never really admitted any of the wrongs they've done. They may have too much pride. They may have too much ego. Whatever the case may be, you could, your your kids could feel like you're the person who's like that. Because um, we were already talking about this could be a child too feeling this way about you. And that doesn't make it true, but that's how they're seeing it from their perspective right now. We've all felt that way about our parent at some point in time. Anyway, let's see what else is here. You might also be somebody who does medicinal healing um, or plant-based healing, natural styles of healing. You may not be somebody who goes to the pharmacy to get the things that you need um, to take care of yourself. You may be somebody who actually takes the hard road and puts in the hard work to heal and to... Um, really take care of yourself and somebody could just take the prescription cover-ups that they give them instead of doing what they need to do to be healthy style your style could be something that they also are hating on once again with the style so we got the ace of swords the deck card the king of pistols the weeper the deer and the elk. Somebody is definitely hating on a particular partnership in your life as well. Somebody may be hating on you because of somebody that in particular that cried over you or because of somebody in particular that is committed to you, is loyal to you, sees the value in you. Somebody could be hating on you as well for what you're building in your life and your ability to defend it, your stability, your strength, your loyalty, your down-to-earth energy, your grounded energy. Your, um, Like I said before, you could definitely come from, a, like, say, a family with mental health problems or uh, whoever this person is shares similar mental health problems to you. But you are somebody who has done what you need to do for you to be able to put stability in your life, to get rooted, to get grounded, and to take care of yourself so you can take action to manifest in your life. You're very honest, direct, to the point. You see through the bullshit, you see through the lies, you're compassionate, you're understanding, caring, kind, loving. You're also a very blended energy of masculine and feminine as well. Even though you are passive, understanding, um, compassionate, caring, giving, loving, you're also somebody who is very strong, sturdy, stable, solid. Somebody who acts when you feel like you need to act. You will do what you need to do to take care of you and you don't need anybody else outside of you to do that. Somebody could even be crying over a connection that you have in your life right now where it seems like you guys are perfect for each other. And they may be hating on this connection because they feel sad and alone or they feel like they can never have that or because they may even want to have that with you for some of you as well. This could be somebody who hasn't let go of a past that you shared together. This may even be somebody that you spoke the truth to about what has happened between you and maybe you have forgiven them and you've been able to move on with your life, but they have not been able to move on with their life and they've had a really hard time forgiving you or being uh, forgiving themselves. For some of the things they did, this person could have been very cutthroat in some sort of way. This person could have been very focused on money and didn't really see the value that was right in front of them. This person could currently be very focused on money. They may even be crying over lost money. For some of you, this person could be hating on you because you might be receiving child support at this time. Or they know it's going to be coming to you. And so... Yeah, that's pretty much what I got for you guys. This one went way longer than the other two. Anyway, 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I would love to hear what you guys thought about it, whether or not it resonated, what you might be going through, who these people could be, all that kind of good stuff. And if you guys enjoyed this, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp, a donation, hit that little super thanks button. All the stuff that you guys do to support this channel is so appreciated. Thank you guys so much for that, especially all of you over the last couple weeks that have been donating or have been making purchases with me getting sick and everything that has helped me out so much to just be able to rest and take care of myself and not have to worry so much about how I'm going to have the things that I need while I'm doing that. Thank you guys so much. And I really appreciate you for all that you do to support my work and my channel. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye guys.